Hello everyone, I'm Mr. Wendell, and today we're going to look at CPO Lab 25B, Reflection and Refraction. Today's Lab 25B, Reflection and Refraction, deals with looking at the path of a laser beam as it hits a mirror and reflects out at a particular angle. In the first part of our CPO Lab today, we are going to be using a laser beam. The flashlight that is the laser beam says laser on it in white in a red strip be careful not to shine that in your eyes or anybody else's second thing that we're going to be using is a mirror third thing will be the CPO optics light and color board this is a grid paper it's got a shiny surface you can write on it with an overhead board marker and it will erase pretty easily last thing we'll need is a 3x5 card in order to begin the lab, you're going to get the laser beam and you're going to make sure it has batteries in it. Remember, do not point the laser beam at anyone's eyes. There are stands for the laser beams and the flashlights. You're going to grab one of those stands. For the first part of the lab, you are going to arrange the laser along with one of the grid lines on the CPO Science Optics Light and Color Pad. You're going to take a 3x5 card and you are going to move it up to the point at which the laser beam lights up the side of the card. You'll continue to move further away from that laser beam, checking to see if the beam is aligned with the same grid line all the way down the paper. You may need to move the laser beam back and forth a little bit. It may take a little time to do this. Additionally, you can mark using an Expo marker the points at which the laser beam hits the card just so you're sure you're on that same line. As you move down the CPO grid paper, you can double check to make sure that it continues to line up. Once you've done that, you can draw a line connecting all the points and put an arrow on it occasionally to show the direction of the incoming laser beam. The next step is to take our mirror and place it at a large angle and I would choose one of the dots that you put it on and then you're going to look at the outgoing laser beam the same way. You're going to take your 3x5 card, you're going to slide it until it lights up the edge with the laser beam and you're going to put a dot right about there about there about there so now you've got a few dots on that paper that you can draw the outgoing line from the laser and we're just going to wing it here. And as you look, you have an incoming ray and you have an outgoing ray. The outgoing ray is reflected off of that mirror. After you've drawn the incoming ray and the outgoing ray, we're going to make some measurements. But first, we need to mark where the mirror was. So we are going to take our Expo marker and we can either put some dots or we can just draw the front of that mirror. And then you can take the mirror off and take a look at the uh, incoming and outgoing rays. The next thing that you can do is you're going to be taking a look at the normal line. So the normal line is just a line drawn that's perpendicular to the mirror. So I'm going to look at the intersection and I'm going to draw a line that's 90 degrees to the mirror. The straight line that I drew that is perpendicular to the mirror's front, that is called the normal. And what we're going to do is take a look at the angle here, the incoming incident angle, and we're also going to look at the outgoing 
or reflected angle and see if those two angles are similar or different. Measuring the angle of incidence, that incoming ray going from left to right, it looks as though our angle is about 35 degrees. Now taking a look at the outgoing ray, it also is 35 degrees. So both of these two angles are equal to each other. After measuring uh, your first set of incoming and outgoing rays, you're going to go ahead and complete two more diagrams. You're just going to do this to verify that the incoming angle is similar or exactly same to the outgoing ray's angle. Once you've completed part C, we're going to move on to part D. This part is taking a look at light rays going through a prism. So we'll use the laser beam again, we'll use the prism that's in the CPO light and optics kit, and we'll take a look at what happens when we shine a laser beam through a prism. For the next part of the lab, you're going to take a laser beam and you're going to shine the laser beam through the corner of a prism. You're going to notice that the light is bent from the laser. Uh, there is some internal reflection also. What you're going to do is go ahead and draw the outgoing laser beam from the light and then the path of the laser beam as it travels through the prism. Once you've observed the laser beam going through the prism, you're going to go ahead and sketch what you saw in the lab. Please make sure to answer the questions when you're done. The last part of Lab 25B takes a look at refraction and the bending of light when it goes from one medium to another. In this case, it's going to be going from air to water. So we have a thermometer cover, and it looks straight. We're going to go ahead and put it into the beaker of water, and you're going to take a look at what it appears to look like now. So now it looks like it's bent. The thermometer cover looks like it's not in one piece. The bottom of the cover looks a little enlarged, and it does look like it's bent a bit. So this is an example of refraction. When you've completed your observations, whether you used a thermometer cover or a pencil or a crayon, please draw that in the space provided. And then after you're done, go ahead and answer the questions that go along with the lab. Thank you for completing Lab 25B.